Good morning, guys. David here. Welcome to Digital Outlook. I hope you're all having a happy Father's Day. One of the best decisions I made was becoming a dad. And it's one of the greatest investments that I ever made, too. And any of you that are out there as parents certainly can understand that. The dividends that kids pay in your life, amazing. Just amazing. So, guys, what I want to talk to you about today is having the right mindset being able to kind of like weather the storms not getting bounced around up and down and all that kind of stuff and you know because these markets if you let it are going to just toy with your emotions like nothing else and it can be extremely discouraging when you know you're hoping to see something happen and it's just not happening and it's delayed 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 and there are some things that you can do to kind of avoid that feeling or avoid getting kind of trapped in that emotional cesspool and going down the tubes when you see your assets are kind of depreciating. So one of the things I think that, well, I've had to learn is to expect it. You're not always going to make the best calls. You're going to see a situation, you're going to see your portfolios, they are gonna go up, but you're gonna see them go down too. And the thing is, guys, if you never sell, you've never lost. So a lot of times you'll hear people say, oh my goodness, I've lost so much. Da, 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 da. Well, did you sell? Well, I don't know, but my portfolio went from this to this. Well, you didn't really lose. You haven't sold it. And that's a very big perspective to have. Warren Buffett says the stock markets are created to transfer wealth from the impatient to the patient. Guys, wait it out step back take a deep breath and just go enjoy your life spending time with your kids and your wife and your family whatever your husband and enjoy them because the the best investment that we're ever going to make in this life is in each other people you know, most of us, we have a goal of becoming wealthy because we want to able to have more time with our family or to bless our children or grandchildren or different members of our, of our families. And that is a very reasonable and great goal. But if you look at the end goal, it's to actually have what you can probably have right now. And that is a better life with your family. So that's one thing that you can definitely do to kind of give yourself you know, some stability when things are in sta unstable all around you. Now, another one is, guys, give yourself the grace to make a mistake sometimes. Look, when I was getting into this, I saw this one particular investment that I wanted to make. <laughs> and I, I didn't do my due diligence like I normally do, where I kind of look at all those four things, you know, check to see if it has a real world utility and you know, uh, great management team, strategic partnerships, TA and all that. No, I literally FOMO'd into something. <laughs> and the thing literally crashed. It was a total rug pull and I lost a few thousand dollars. But I learned from that. Guys, I have a philosophy and it's kind of quirky, but it works for me. We're all like Swiss cheese, guys. We all have holes and we all have cheese. Now I can focus on the things that are missing in me and really get down on myself heavy. Or I can focus on the substance of who I am. And, and, and not to build myself up in an arrogant way. There's two kinds of pride, guys. There's arrogance and then there's dignity. And you can build up your dignity and make sure that you're investing in you and you're giving yourself grace to be a human being. Don't put so much pressure on yourself to make every call a perfect call and that every call you make is going to turn out fantastic. Look, the reality is if you invested in 10 things and nine of them go to pot, but one of them becomes a superstar, the one that became a superstar is gonna far outweigh the nine that did nothing. And that's just it. So something else you can do, guys, is set short-term attainable goals. Your long-term goal, yes, is financial independence, but setting a short-term attainable goal as you step up your way there is going to build your confidence when you reach them, and you're gonna be that much more motivated to reach the next goal. And eventually, you're gonna be on top. 
you know, a lot of times people look at a guy and say, wow, look at him, he's way up on top. How did he get there? Well, I'll tell you how he got there. He got there by reaching short-term goals until he finally was on top. You know, there's a old limerick that says, aim high, aim far, your goal the sky, your aim the star. And it's in those small little bites that you eventually get to that whole top. So when Judy and I were starting out, we set little goals for ourselves, like, okay, we wanted a thousand XRP. And we would reach that goal and then we would set another one. Okay, now 5,000, okay, and then 10,000 and so on and so forth until we reached the level that the amount that we held, when it reached the targets that we were shooting for, would be life-changing amount. And it got there. So how do you gather the resources to meet these short-term goals? Well, sometimes you might come into a little bit of dough. Another time you may, uh, you know, say, hey, I'm not gonna eat that pizza tonight, or no, nope, I'm not gonna do that three Starbucks a day and all that kind of stuff. And you set up a no account. And every time you say no to one of these things, then you can kind of put that money towards your goal of reaching those various tiers, those investment tiers. And it's going to bring some stability to you having that plan in place when it feels like you're on a roller coaster. <laughs> so, now guys, you know I'm not a financial advisor and this isn't financial advice, but I do care about you guys. And I wanna give you something that is going to help you weather the storms when they come, and they will come, let's be honest, the storms always come, you know? But the sun always comes out too. You know, I heard someone say, you know, I believe in the, I don't know, how does it go? I believe in the, the, in the sun even when it's not shining and I believe in God even when he's silent kind of thing. I like that, you know? Cause, just because you can't see it yet doesn't mean it's not there, that it's not a reality. So guys, this is the video I have for you today and if you found value in it, hit the like and subscribe, tell your friends and family so we can help as many people as possible. And in the meantime, and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'll catch you in the next one.